Jack Link's Jerky presents Snacking with Sasquatch. <laughs> Feed your wild side. Welcome back to Minglewood Hall, a packed house here, watching exciting V3 fights on Comcast. And time now for a welterweight division battle and a number one contender fight between this young man, Miles Mickey, out of Memphis, Tennessee, and Team Vortex versus Michael Bunch from West Memphis, Arkansas, just across the river from where we're at and North 79 Gym. Miles Mickey's last V3 fight was an absolute war in which he lost to Trey Manley, but received fight of the night honors. So here's a guy who likes to put on a show. That was such a fun fight to watch. Him and Trey went back and forth the whole time. He ended up losing just a close fight, but this man has a lot of skills in the cage. He's a very new, younger fighter, so hopefully he's been trained up a little bit harder with Team Vortex. He's got a great coach over there with Andy Urich and a bunch of other pros, so we're gonna see how he does. Only two fights under his belt. He's one and one, and he's one of the taller fighters you'll see on tonight's card. Now the lights dim, the music changes, and get ready to meet Michael Bunch. Here comes Bunch. Again, the pride of West Memphis, Arkansas, has really improved his all-around game since joining the North 79 gym, trained by Jeremy Brock. Trains a lot with Mike Houston, V3's current middleweight champion. Mike Houston is tough to train with, and Michael Bunch brings it. Michael Bunch has a lot of skill. The only time he's lost in the V3K was the current champion, Joel Cooper. Bunch comes in with a lot of skill. He's got great cardio, and he's really strong. Last time out, he knocked off Brandon Panel on V3 fights back in September, first round TKO. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape, brought to you by Game Changer Clothing. Miles Mickey from Memphis, one and one, 20 years of age, six foot three, he's a brawler, and tipped the scales in 169. Michael Bunch from West Memphis, Marion, just about the same region across the river, seven and two, he's 24 years of age, six feet tall, a stand-up fighter, doesn't want it to go to the ground, he wants to stand up and let loose. He also weighed, he actually weighed in at 170, so he was a pound heavier than Miles Mickey. Mickey and Bunch battling in Minglewood Hall, two local fighters, one from Memphis, one from West Memphis. Let's get the introductions with Michael Kelly behind the microphone. V3 Legion, this bat is brought to you by Surgical Solutions in a set of three, three minute rounds in the Walker Lake Division. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, the third man in the cage will be Omar Sutton. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the black trunks with red trim. At six feet three inches, he weighed in at 169 pounds. A brawler with an MMA record of one win and one loss. Representing Vortex and fighting out of Memphis, Tennessee, Miles Mondo Mickey! And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner. He was the red trunks with the white trim. At six feet even, he weighed in at 170 pounds. A stand-up fighter with an MMA record of seven wins and two losses. Representing North 79 and fighting out of Marion, Arkansas, Michael Bunch! Miles Mondo, Mickey, and Michael Bunch. Omar Sutton with final instructions. Hey, you're both back for the fighting meeting. Obey my instructions all the time. Plenty of support for both these fighters. Mickey gives or has a three inch height advantage on Michael Bunch. We'll see if he takes advantage of that. Michael Bunch though with more experience inside the cage. Nine amateur fights to just two for Mickey. Round one, here we go. Scheduled for three, three minute rounds. Both these guys are real fast starters. So look for the action to start up real quick. Wild right there <laughs> by Bunch, just off the mark. Oh, that could have hurt. Missed again, both missed. Both are quick fighters for this weight, very impressed. Big hit, that landed right on the side of Mickey's face. 
Oh, lazy kick by Bunch, but he got out of it. And then when he turned around, he was greeted by a combination from Mickey. Well, I'm still reeling from that slap. The left side of Mickey's face is just red. There's a nice strike by Bunch, and then a big oh! leg kick, and down goes. Mickey's down. It's over. It is over. Knockout. How about that? How about that? Boy, Omar Sutton had to take Michael Bunch and Whoa. physically, physically take him off of Mickey as Mickey went down, knocked out in round number one. That was quick. That was one hell of a hit by Michael Bunch, and he just kept the onslaught on. The experience, the power, Michael Bunch improving eight and two and two and one on V3. Wow. All right. Impressive. Very impressive. Rick McCracken will head inside the cage, get a few words with Michael Bunch, who's taking a few sips of water and doing a little jig of some sort. Certainly not perspiring too much. He did that in quick fashion. And there's Mondo, Miles Mickey, who just got dropped in a unbelievable fashion. Such a quick strike was Michael Bunch. And before you knew it, Mickey was knocked out. Let's get the time as we go to Michael Kelly. Ladies and gentlemen, the V3 cage in Meadowood Hall. We present the official time of 47 seconds in a round number one. Referee Omar Sutton calls a halt to the bout due to strikes, declaring your winner by TKO victory, Michael Bunch. So officially goes down as a TKO, ferocious onslaught of offense from Michael Bunch. And now Rick McCracken with a few words from our winner. Yes, 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 that was a knockout. Michael Bunch, your winner. <laughs> Come on, that was not a greeting for your winner. Michael Bunch, your winner. Man, you started off that and you hit him with that head kick, slapped him right on the face. That was mean. Yeah, it actually hurt my foot. Uh, I was aiming for the shin, but you know how it goes. He's a tall guy. I'd like to uh, thank Miles for taking the fight. I know he took it. On short notice, both of, ours got, both of our guys got hurt, so we just wanted to fight. I'd like to thank him for taking the fight. Yes, yes, thank you very much, Miles, for taking it. Had an action pack, first round. You hit him with that left, you sent him straight down, and you smelled blood. You got on top of him, hit him with three good rides, and he was out. Did you think it was going to go down that fast? Well, uh, I hoped it would. <laughs> I love getting out of here real quick, but uh, I, I've always considered myself a stand-up fighter. All my fights have been stopped on the ground. I just wanted to stand up and show that I could bang. So I hope it was worth y'all worth y'all coming out and seeing. Well, your only loss, your only loss in V3 has been to former champion Joel Cooper. So this puts you right in a title shot. Are you happy about that? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I know Ben Brewer's the champion right now, and uh, I think he's going pro after this fight, which really, really isn't good. I've always wanted to fight Ben, but uh, he's a he's a good guy, and I know he's going to make a good pro fighter. Well, great, everybody. Your winner, Michael Bunch. Michael Bunch wins the number one contender fight over Miles Mickey, and he does it in impressive style with a 47-second TKO.